What's up YouTube? So, coming back with another video today. Um, posted another video, I oh, posted a video a couple days ago and um, about the beer journey um, and my two year update. Um, as you guys can see, if you guys haven't seen the previous video, um, I did minoxidil um, for the beard, for the face area for about two years. I'm sorry, not for two years, for about six months. Um, and now it's been about a little over two years now since the last time I actually did um, an application, right? Um, and as you guys can see, um, it did grow quite a bit uh, from when I first started. If you guys go back and see my previous videos of when I first started back in 2016, um, it did grow, uh, you know, it did, it did grow, right? Um, I've been off of minoxidil for about two years now. Um, I did it only for about six months, twice a day, um, every single day. Um, and as you guys can see, it, it grew. Like, you know, it's my real hair, it's coming out of my face. And um, certain areas are stronger than others, like this area right here is a little bit lighter than it would be somewhere else. Um, so really, you know, but for the most part, it, it's, it's good. It's my beard and I'm happy with it, right? Um, I did mention that I was going to be uploading a video of my routine um, of what I actually do. I have been using minoxidil for the past two days now and I'm gonna try to go um, as much as I can really uh, just to grow out like the or to to fill in some of the patches like I have a patch here I have a little patch right here um, little uh, lighter area right here and then some parts under my chin um, like right here that it's a little bit lighter than other parts so that's really the reason why I'm kind of wanting to start the journey all over again um, and I want to actually document it uh, fully this time um, so what I'm going to be doing in this video, um, I'm going to actually be showing you guys my routine of how I actually put the minoxidil on. Um, I did switch over to the liquid um, instead of the foam, which I used for the first six months when I started the journey. Um, I did switch over to the liquid just because a lot of people have really good results with it. I just really wanted to try um, or see what the differences was between the foam and the liquid. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to be applying minoxidil to the face. Um, I didn't do, I didn't actually put it on this morning just because I knew that I had the intention of doing this video uh, today. Um, I just got out of work about an hour ago and that's really the reason why I actually wanted to go ahead and, and do the video and just wait to put, uh, to apply the minoxidil um, and show you guys exactly how I do it. Um, I have, I was considering maybe trimming down the beard um, just depending on how the application was uh, because I wasn't sure if like, because like I said, the, it, my hair is a little bit longer than when I first started. Obviously, I didn't have anything before. Um, so, but it's not bad. Um, I'm gonna give it a week so just to, to see how the progress is and everything like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you guys to the bathroom um, and I'll show you exactly how I apply it and what I actually do um, in order to, to actually apply everything, you know, the right way. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, cool. So we're in my bathroom now. Um, I just want to show you guys exactly what my routine is, right? Of how I actually put the um, the minoxidil on my face, um, on my beard, right? Um, like I said, I did switch over to the liquid foam, not the liquid foam, but just the actual liquid itself. Um, I do have an old bottle that I actually found of the foam that I used to use. This is really old, but it was this one. This is what I actually used to use, the CVS um, minoxidil 5% foam is what I used to do. Um, just an off-brand one that worked for me um, and I switched over to the Still CVS, but I switched over to the um, to the liquid with the actual little needle thing um, Which looks just like this um, So I switched over to this um, Been using it for about two days uh, so far so good. I don't have like any irritation or anything like that So um, doesn't seem to be like uh, bad or anything like that um, So I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what I do uh, personally to actually uh, put this on so I usually do about I don't know if you guys can see it but it's right at the uh, at the line it's a little bit over the line so you know a little bit more than never never heard so uh, that's just what I do so um, so basically what I do um, this is the all I use um, and I use it on both sides of my face um, in my lower lip area and then my mustache, right? And then I get a couple of spots here where I think it's like necessary. Uh, but basically I just go like this, start applying it. I don't know if you guys can see, but there we go. Make sure I get that little gap right there. 
and then just like the areas where it looks like it's I usually do about half about half uh, and I just kind of I squirt a little bit squirt a little bit and then kind of just like smear it around like the the, the face area um, that's that side um, so I'm about a little bit a little bit under uh, the, the halfway mark or the line should I say and then I go on the other side just quarter a little bit out of it and then just start applying to the actual face itself um, make sure I get the little uh, lighter areas is what I really want to fill in so make sure I concentrate on that but for the most part I kind of just you know spread it pretty much everywhere now this is this is good I think I, I like this better than the foam when I was using the foam because with this uh, the foam would be a little bit harder because if I if I put the foam on It'll just go on the on the outer layer of the actual hair itself. It wouldn't actually penetrate all the way to the skin um, or down to the skin. With this, I can actually, you know, you know, get in between the hairs and everything, and actually get down to the actual skin itself, um, which is what really means it. A little bit right there, and then I have about this much left. Um, it's about this much left, so it's not very much, but for this. Um, I don't like it to run down like down my lip and down like my mustache area. So for me, this is perfect because um, Because it's if, got, it's if it gets in your mouth, it gets it tastes nasty and it's probably not a good idea to put it in your mouth anyway But with this um, I just squirt a little bit right here in the middle and kind of just spread it around like the whole mustache area, right? So I go Make sure I get the connectors because those are pretty weak also if you guys look at the last video you guys can see where it's not connected and you can actually see here my lighting isn't very well here but um, you can see where it's not connected there so uh, the hair is just a little longer kind of like gives the illusion that it's connected <laughs> but for the most part you know spread make sure I get everything else And that used up the whole um, little container, not the container, but the, la the actual stuff that I had in there. Um, so that's basically all I do for the Minato, though, uh, to be honest. Just close that up. Put that to the side. And that's pretty much all I do. Now, usually uh, recommended, it says four hours, keep it on for four hours. And after four hours, you guys can go ahead and just, uh, you know, wash it off. You know, get some soap, like some, some, some soap, and just, you know, wash it off or whatever. Um, usually, I do about four hours. Um, sometimes it goes a little bit longer than that, like if I fall asleep or something. But you know, I've never had any issues, any irritations or anything like that, so I don't think it's a big deal. Um, and as you guys can see, it worked for me. Uh, if you guys, like I said, go back to my old videos, you guys can see where it's, like it's, it's like no hair at all. Um, so that's pretty much all I do as far as you know applying the minoxidil um, onto the face um, Like I said, I really want to fill in this areas where it's kind of like uh, where it's really light or like no hair at all um, Right here as well um, Under my lip. I still it, it doesn't grow But I haven't lost faith right everything else grew so I'm assuming this eventually will grow um, I want to go ahead and do this for at least at least a year um, so we'll see how that goes um, but for the most part, like I said, um, that's basically my routine. I do that in the morning. Usually I do it in the morning before I go to work. Once I wake up as, you know, I brush my teeth, you know, as I usually do that as part of my, as part of my morning routine. Um, and then I wash it off when I'm at work or if I'm off that day, I just wash it off here at home, obviously. Um, and then usually I'll apply it a couple hours before I go to bed. Um, so sometimes I'm able to wash it out before I actually fall asleep or sometimes, um, if I put it on and I fall asleep, I usually just wipe it off in the morning and then just kind of reapply it. Usually I'll just reapply the next dose um, that, for the next day. So, um, but like I said, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions um, of what I do um, aside from this, um, I, I did start uh, using the, the black Jamaican castor oil or Jamaican black castor oil, whatever it's called. Um, and I usually do that in between, if I'm off, I've only done it, um, I did start that about a week and a half ago. I only do it if I'm off. Um, if I go to work that day, like if I'm scheduled to work, um, just because I don't wanna be putting oil on my face, you know, during the day at work. 
<laughs> then I would do it. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any other questions, uh, leave me a comment, like, subscribe. Um, you guys know the deal. All right, see you.